Hello, my name is Mary Myers and I'm with the PA Group. <clears throat> Today, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the chart of accounts inside of Dynamics 365 Business Central. So first, we'll start up here in Finance and we'll just go over here to the chart of accounts. Over here, you can see a basic breakdown um, with the account number, a description, any change, the balance, and then also indicating whether it's a balance sheet or an income state item, um, <clears throat> the subcategory that it belongs to, the account type. So for example, this is a heading account because this is under the balance sheet. Then this is going to be a big in to total because it's going to total all of the assets that are down here, right? Checking account, inventory, these are all assets. And then we have another end total, which is our total assets. So that's why these two are totaling accounts. And then obviously everything in between is a posting account. And then in the totaling account over here, all it's doing is creating a formula for the for the posting accounts. So in this one, we see that it's taking all the accounts from 10001 through 10990. So it's going to add all of those accounts together. Um, you also can indicate if there's a specific posting group that a certain account goes to. So maybe you have a, a GL account that is specific for maybe intercompany uh, receivables or foreign shipments or something to that extent, then you can identify that it's going to be specified for just that particular posting group there. So that is what that is for. Um, <clears throat> you can also go into here and indent the chart of accounts whenever you Create your chart of accounts if you indent it, then it will automatically it says, do you want to update the indention? So if you add an account based off of the account type that you put, you can hit yes. And it will just simply indent. So now you see that all of these are indented from before they were over here. So now it gives us a clean, clean look. And what it's doing is it's indenting everything within the totaling accounts here in the totaling and headers. So uh, with all normal chart of accounts, we can see that we start off with assets and go through uh, liabilities, equity, down and chart, income, cost of goods, and expenses. Um, so this is the basic overall view. You can also edit the chart of accounts. If you go into edit list, So then now you have this in an edit editable version here. You can also edit this in Excel. So let's say, for example, I wanted to change the name. I wanted to add some account numbers here. I had a lot of changes. I can go here to edit in Excel and publish them back in here. And that will update them for you. So that is the overall basis of the chart of accounts.